welcome back to my channel this is my first get ready with me i kind of wanted to freestyle it like i didn't plan how i was gonna do this i just had an idea in my head how i wanted to go and this is this is just what i got <laughs> it's very like dramatic in the eyes but then it's kind of like subtle not too much and um i would definitely wear this out to where i'm going today obviously because i did my makeup today like did it hit some struggles but then i got myself back like i said makeup is really just uh for me is like fucking up and then fixing it and then making it work no matter what what you have in front of you just use what you got and just just work with it so that's what i do when i do my makeup when i do my clients makeup is different like i have a vision um or they let me know what they want and i kind of go off by that so yeah this was just a real freestyle like i literally did not know where i was going with this look but i like it, it came out cool you know it's not my best i have other looks that i've done that are really nice with glitter but this is just little glitter little wing eye you know i wanted to do really focus on that part but yeah this is it and if you want to learn how i got this beautiful glittery eye then continue watching so to start off i'm gonna be using my mario i ain't gonna say his last name because honestly i don't want people to be like oh you got his last name wrong but anyways i'm gonna use his um moisturizing lotion and then i'm gonna go with my elf primer all this shit is cheap like you can get this at a drugstore i don't really play that i like cheap i like expensive whatever so i already did my eyebrows off camera and now i'm gonna do my eyes i'm gonna be using the jaclyn hill palette morphe palette and it looks like this all right y'all so this is one of my makeup hacks so if you didn't uh, wash your brushes the day before i literally get a makeup wipe and i just wipe them on there and like it doesn't make it super wet to where like i'm not able to use them so now i'm going in with a transition color <clears throat> pretty much just the light color that you can find on the palette and i'm staying in that range up there which is just gonna be very orange, very light tones. I'm not trying to do too much. Here, I don't got my nieces watch. What do you want, Uni? I know because I'm filming a video. Ugh, my skin is so fucking horrible, but oh well, I don't really care. Anyways, so yeah, I'm just blending out this transition shade and using just the warm colors up there. That's really what I'm doing here. Hmm. I added kind of like a dark orange color on the palette and basically what i'm doing now is i'm just blending that into the crease making it look really nice and blended so this is a color from the palette that i love and i think this is another one of my tricks i usually like blend out the colors the dark and then i put a light on top of it just so it could look really good and blended so i'm just gonna blend that on top of the colors that i already blended together of course the blending process is gonna take a minute this is not gonna happen like in five minutes no you have to keep going over and over and over and i will continue to keep going over and over till i get the colors blended right some might disappear like the brown might be too light now and i have to go back in the colors and basically just keep adding them until they're blended nice and until the color is not faded i don't want it to be faded or muddy as well so i'm trying my hardest just to blend everything out and make sure i don't have any harsh lines so now i'm going in with kind of like a burgundy color and i'm just blending this into my crease as well and trying to blend it into the colors that i already blended together so now i'm just cleaning the edges making sure they're sharp and clean the eyeliner i use is the wet and wild eyeliner. so now i'm gonna start doing my eyeliner 
this is a very hard process with me because I suck at eyeliner and honestly I don't think I did it good on this um, look I feel like I could do eyeliner better on people than I could do it myself I know probably a lot of y'all can relate because girl I hate it like once I do it I try to okay look this is my trick I try to do it thin and then I will try to start building it up to thicker and once it's thicker like i just leave it alone because honestly i'm not gonna keep going thicker and thicker so for my tip i would definitely start off really thin and then start making it thicker as you go do not make it thick as soon as you start because oh my god it's gonna be such a struggle to fix it So now I'm picking up my glitter, it's from NYX, and the shade is that one right there. And I'm just going to use um, eyelash glue. I like this one because it's kind of like a brush, kind of like an eyeliner brush. Be very careful with getting the glue on your eyelashes, it's gonna happen, but my trick is to just kind of take the glitter off of the eyelashes i'm just applying the glitter right on that line where i did my eyeliner don't worry if it gets anywhere else because you're going to dust it off with the makeup brush or a blending brush so i'm just hopping over to the other eye doing the exact same thing i did with the other eye and I am just going to pack the color on and it's going to look a hot mess at first. You're going to be like, uh, what is this? But I promise once you clean it up and you add mascara and you add your lashes, it's going to all come together. So I'm just going back with the eyeliner and just sharpening it a little bit, fixing it, making sure everything looks neat. And this is when I tell you guys that I started to get a little carried away and I just started freestyling and didn't even know what I was doing. So I just decided randomly to add um, eyeliner on top and kind of give it the effect like it, you know, just to clean it up. I feel like I didn't really like the top because it didn't look clean to me or sharp. So I wanted to clean it up and sharpen it. And I was like, whatever, I'm just going to add eyeliner on top and then see how it goes from there. So yeah, that's how that came about. And then I'm going to dust off any glitter, any extra glitter on there. And going in with my Fit Me foundation. And I'm going to put this all over my face and it is in the color soft tan and at first it does look a little darker than me but once i blend it in and everything just comes together and it looks like my skin tone this is my favorite drugstore ugh, drugstore foundation fit me that's my go-to like that's what i'm gonna use period like i haven't really looked for any high-end foundations because i feel like this one works for me and, and it's very affordable so yeah i would definitely cop that so moving on to concealer and y'all probably already know about this concealer so i don't probably don't have to say what it is again drugstore and i'm cheap as fuck and i'm going to be cheap as fuck till the day i die like if i get rich i'm still gonna buy this regular regular shit and i'm just doing my t-zone just getting areas that i want to conceal make sure they're good and i'm using the same brush that i blended my foundation with i'm blending my concealer and yes i use a brush sometimes i use a, a blending i forgot what they call beauty blenders sometimes i will use those but in this case i'm not using those i prefer a brush i don't know why it's just me i like it i like how it looks how it makes my foundation look that's just me And now I'm going to contour, and you guys already know about this one, so I don't even have to say what it is. And if you don't know, girl, you need this. So 
so I'm grabbing a different brush and I'm just going to blend out my contour as best as I can and I'm just spraying a little bit of that Mario <laughs> I don't, like I said I don't know his last name so I'm not gonna say it um and then I'm just curling my eyelashes I don't know why I looked at it like that and then I'm going to grab that burgundy color that I used earlier and I'm going to put that in my waterline I'm just going to blend it out so it looks really pretty once I add my eyelashes and everything it'll just all come together and then we're going to add eyeliner to give it that pop so my eyes can look really popping and now i'm going into the eyelashes now i'ma tell y'all i really finesse these girl first of all i like i layer my eyelashes so it's not one it's two strips and then i found out that i only had enough to layer one side and then I had some eyelash that was already made that I made that I already layered it. But they didn't match. But guess what? I made it work. Girl, I made it work. Because they look like they match. And they are completely different eyelashes. But like I said, you use what you got and you make it work. So this is another trick for me. I curl the fake eyelashes and my real lashes together just to make sure that they look really blended and then I kind of like push them up as you can see what I just did right now. So I added setting powder and highlight and I did a little contour on my nose, just a couple details and this is the final look.